Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I'm of the stars. There's a G1 class uh, geostorm in effect right now. The GOES X-ray flux for the last couple of days looks like a gradually rising storm with two M-class flares in the last few hours of, of, of time and uh, a bunch of smaller M-class flares before that. I think um, four or five so far. And so the air is definitely in um, a weird mode right now with the proton influx was up to oh 14 or 15,000 for a little while and the, the um, proton falls now still really around 9,000 really pretty high and it translates in on the clear plane into a kind of a sound kind of like um, uh, Crisco frying in a frying pan right now um, a very weird sound really and uh, it's creating various physical sensations as well anyway so I have my my technique for um, finding out exactly how severe a geostorm is. It's my personal technique. It's this vase right here that I've shown you before during a real severe geostorm. This is just a G1. So, but anyway, I thought I'd listen and check and see what I could hear. And I can hear something like really, really softly, but I doubt I can get it on camera, so I'll, let me try. Ten to one you didn't hear anything there, but I can hear a little something. But if I turn on the air conditioning, then the air conditioning sound, the sound of the motor resonates inside of this glass. The sound of the resonance changes um, with the severity of the proton fall, which is like right now very high. So let me turn on the air conditioner and then we'll see how it translates into the sound from the vase. Just in addition to that, I checked on my piano to see what the note was that I was hearing. A little like that. And the closest I can come to it is this, which is F sharp, and but it's slightly down, a fourth down from that, but there's nothing on the piano like that. Closest to F sharp. And I think F sharp, as I recall, has to do with... Um, the heart chakra. So, Actually, I looked up a chakra chart related to musical notes just now, and I found out that F sharp has to do with the high heart associated with the thymus gland in human beings, and that gland has to do with physical regeneration. So, I guess this geostorm has to do with physical re regeneration. So, so the heart chakra is getting a tune-up and that accounts for little twi twinges of pain and so forth in the heart chakra right now. It also accounts for the health risks reg with regard to um, the heart chakra and uh, heart function, the physical heart function uh, during geostorms because when people uh, feel the like twinges and so forth of tune-up that are taking place in the electromagnetic field during uh, solar events, uh, if they have a negative as negatively aspected emotional body with regard to that, they can then uh, tense up their entire body and segue into various kinds of physical difficulties. However, if we approach geostorms with a feeling of open-heartedness and uh, 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 the, with the chest muscles very relaxed, knowing that all will be taken care of for us, then the, what, what happens during the geostorms is a very positive thing to do with the DNA expansion and increasing clear abilities and abilities in particular to begin to heal ourselves as instead of needing medical care. So, so 
this will promote longevity and we'll also find uh, many new ways to exist in harmony together on earth because of it. So, so the changes are all good and the important thing to do is to remember to have faith and confidence in the, the, the intelligence of the sun and the intelligence of the incoming light and its desire, its desire it's, uh, to protect and help us and encourage us and educate us and bring us to um, a greater understanding of the nature of the universe, which is unconditional love. <laughs>